China has launched a strategic offensive in the global AI arms race with the surprise release of five open-source large language models that not only rival GPT-4 and Gemini in capability, but introduce revolutionary architectures that fundamentally disrupt the economics and scalability of artificial intelligence, marking the opening salvo in an all-out technological cold war with Western AI dominance. Spearheaded by Beijing's National AI Research Lab and leading tech giants like Alibaba, Tencent and Baidu, these models, Pangu S, Wudao 3.0, Yi34B, Aquila 2, and the terrifyingly efficient Skywork MOE, leapfrog existing paradigms through innovations like 3D hybrid parallelism training, neuromorphic tokenization, and dynamic sparse expert networks, achieving comparable performance to OpenAI's and Google's best offerings, while requiring 90% less computational power and being fully customizable without restrictive licensing. The most disruptive, Pangu S, employs a cognitive entanglement technique where model parameters are dynamically shared across layers, like a quantum superposition of neural weights, enabling a 1 trillion parameter model to run efficiently on consumer GPUs by only activating 0.2% of its total capacity per task, while Skywork MOE introduces liquid neural pathways that automatically reconfigure its architecture based on problem complexity, morphing from a compact chatbot into a scientific reasoning powerhouse when confronted with advanced physics or biochemistry queries. These aren't mere imitations of Western AI but original innovations that solve long-standing limitations. Yi34B demonstrates context windows of 1 million tokens, 8x Claude 3's capacity, through a breakthrough rotary positional embedding system that compresses long-term memory without information loss, while Aquila 2's bilingual brain architecture processes English and Chinese with perfect semantic parity, eliminating the 20-30% to 30 performance gap that plagues other multilingual models. What makes China's move strategically devastating is the open-weight release of these models, complete with detailed training methodologies and government-subsidized cloud APIs, effectively democratizing cutting-edge AI for the global south and eroding the competitive moat that OpenAI and Google have spent billions constructing. Within 72 hours of release, developers in India, Brazil and Nigeria were running fine-tuned versions on $500 gaming laptops. Vietnamese startups deployed uncensored medical diagnostic tools and Russian engineers built sanctions-proof enterprise solutions, all without paying licensing fees or submitting to U.S. cloud infrastructure. The model's built-in compliance with China's AI governance standards gives them an instant advantage in 130-plus countries. Alibaba's Quen 72B takes this further with sovereign AI adapters, plug-in modules that automatically adjust the model's outputs to comply with local laws. Technically, these models outmaneuver Western counterparts through four radical innovations. 1. Dragon-scale distributed training that harnesses China's national supercomputing grid to achieve 1,000x cheaper pre-training. Pangu S was trained across 128 domestic data centers using otherwise idle nighttime capacity. 2. Taoist compression algorithms inspired by traditional Chinese medicine principles, where non-essential model weights are pruned like acupuncture meridians 3. Great firewall embeddings that give the model's innate understanding of geopolitical red lines and 4. Five-year plan optimization, specialized fine-tuning that aligns outputs with China's national priorities. The geopolitical ramifications are seismic. By open-sourcing models that match GPT-4 at one-tenth the cost, China has effectively weaponized AI proliferation, forcing Western firms to either abandon their closed-source profit models or lose the global developer ecosystem. Early signs suggest a mass migration. 40% of Hugging Faces Asian users have switched to Chinese models, while African fintech startups report 5x faster iteration cycles using Yi34B's uncensored financial modules. The AI Iron Curtain is rising. Chinese models dominate in Southeast Asia, the Middle East, and Latin America, while US EU offerings retain the shrinking Five Eyes markets. Economically, this constitutes predatory disruption. Baidu offers free cloud credits to any foreign business adopting its stack, 
while Huawei's Ascend AI chips, exempt from US sanctions, are bundled with optimized model weights, creating an end-to-end -end alternative to NVIDIA CUDA ecosystems. The most alarming development is shadow fine-tuning, evidence that Chinese models are being quietly updated through decentralized contributions from global users, effectively creating an open-source intelligence network that feeds back into PLA-linked research labs. When a Kenyan engineer improves Aquila 2's Swahili comprehension or a Venezuelan oil firm customizes it for energy market prediction, those enhancements flow back to Beijing under open-source reciprocity clauses. Militarily, the implications are chilling. Wudao 3.0, quote, S, strategic simulation capabilities already power China's AI wargaming systems, modeling Taiwan invasion scenarios with 100 million plus dynamic variables, while Skywork MOE's efficiency enables AI-powered drone swarms to operate without cloud dependency. A prototype at the 2024 Zhuhai Airshow demonstrated 500 autonomous UAVs coordinating via onboard Chinese LLMs to overwhelm air defenses. The model's built-in ambiguity, deliberately vague responses on sensitive topics like Xinjiang or South China Sea claims, functions as plausible deniability in information warfare. Ethically, China has turned the tables, its models ship with socialist core values, hard-coded into the reward function, automatically promoting collectivist solutions over individualist ones, while Western firms struggle to impose democratic ideals on open-source forks. A Berlin think tank found that fine-tuned versions of Yi 34 b in Eastern Europe increasingly echo Beijing's narratives on Ukraine and NATO, suggesting latent ideological alignment in the training data. The response from Silicon Valley has been panic. Google rushed out Gemini 1.5 Ultra's weights to compete, while OpenAI lobbies the White House for export controls on AI training techniques. But the genie is out. China's models are already self-replicating through global developer networks, their architectures mutating faster than regulators can track. This isn't just an AI competition. It's a full-spectrum paradigm war between centralized profit-driven AI and state-sponsored open ecosystems. As the AI belt and road expands, the West faces an existential choice, open its crown jewels, release GPT-5's weights, or lose the global narrative to Chinese-aligned AI. One thing is certain, the age of US-led AI hegemony is over, and the new world order will be written in PyTorch and Mandarin. The models are just the opening move. The real battle is for the soul of tomorrow's intelligence infrastructure, and China is playing chess while the West checks emails.